What's going on guys, JoeFilmGRC.com. Welcome, and in this video, you see it right here from Kyosho. Thank you, Kyosho, for sending this out ahead of time. We are taking pre-orders on this truck as of now, so link down in the description below. We're expecting these things to come in around August to September. Kyosho says late August, so let's expect it in September. So yeah, link down in the description below. Check it out, pretty awesome. We'll get a running video of this, but we're gonna do an unboxing, and I got a little bit more extra little treats here that we wanna put in this vehicle, so just hang with me on that one. All right, so yeah, this is a 110 scale. This is, they have two different chassis when it comes to phaser. So it's their FZ02L, so this is the longer one. And let's get this box out the way. Now, we got the truck here. This thing looks so sick. Now it's got, let me go ahead and show you guys. Here it is in the front. A little side profile of it and also the rear now this thing comes with led light buckets in the in the rear and also in the front it's got a little spoiler right here the thing's pretty cool right above the cab this little light that's back here it's just a sticker it doesn't have that third brake lights or anything like that but it does have the brake lights in the back so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit more detail but i want to show you the other stuff that comes with it okay so for the radio itself we can see we got all different little settings that are here Plus our on and off switch, four double A's at the bottom. All our instructions, we get some other little tools in here. Let's go ahead and check those all out. We get some stickers, we get a little Kyosho rent. Brake rotors, these can uh, offset the vehicle to make it a little bit wider. So it goes like 190 millimeter and we can make it 200 millimeter using these offsets. You get some little Allen wrenches, and then also we get a little bag of other little parts in here, even like servo horns. So if you're using a different servo, want to upgrade, and that servo has a different spline count, then they have a few different options in here as well, along with those little screws that you'll need to put with this, as far as because they'll be a little bit longer. Our little binding plug provide this little optional part catalog. So exactly what it says. Lots of different parts, accessories, so you can modify this vehicle. Speaking of modified, that's what we're gonna get into here in just a minute. And then you get the instruction manual, so you can, if you need to tear this thing down, order your parts. Really cool, so thank you again, Kyosho. Let's get into the other little ideas I have, but I wanna show you this truck. That's the whole idea why you're here. So the truck itself, take a look at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you underneath, so we can see those light buckets. So here are the light buckets. You just have one five millimeter on the left and then another one on the right. So five millimeter LED sockets. So not provided, so you'll have to get your own LED kit. I recommend like, you know, even on eBay to get a little LED kit. And then you have four red LEDs for the rear and those look to be the five millimeter LEDs that you'll need to get also. So we can see here on the back of it. So let me give you a nice spin of this body. You guys let me know what you guys think about this thing, but yeah, definitely cool. Get some little stickers here. That grill looks awesome. So yeah, we even got the little side mirrors, give it extra little detail. Very nice on that part of it. The rear diffuser, the chassis here. We got our Dean plug, and a little Velcro strap to hold our battery in. It's got a plastic drive shaft, which I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that one, and I'll get into that one too. What I wanna do, we got our receiver and speed controller sitting underneath this plastic piece, along with our little on and off switch in our servo down below. It is waterproof, so if you did get this thing, splashed it and got it wet, it would be okay. If submerging it, not gonna be a great idea, because that receiver in there, don't believe it's gonna handle too much water saturation there. So you want to just, if it runs through a puddle real quick, that might be okay, but I don't recommend it because you got steel bearings and all that kind of stuff in here. All right, even just our, our front, our steering and everything like that. Got a couple little adjustments you can make for like your shocks, things like that. But yeah, just dog bones front and rear, but you can always upgrade a lot of that stuff. So let me show you those optional parts. So that way you can kind of pause it and they got them highlighted here from Kyosho as far as those upgraded parts that you can get. So pretty cool. Thank you Kyosho for highlighting those. So you guys could take a look at those. All right, so other little tech specs, but yeah, they say late August as far as when it's gonna come out. A lot of good information here that they sent us. So thank you again, Kyosho. It's got a 16 amp electronic speed controller. It's got the 14 uh, turn brushed motor. So again, this thing will probably do like right around 25 miles an hour. But this is where we're gonna get into 
the other good stuff. So let me jump back over. All right, so we got a few different options for you guys and I wanna get your opinion. We're gonna probably just one way or the other, depending on how this video goes, but we wanna go ahead and upgrade this vehicle. Now it says this is TRD. So the TRD is the Toyota Racing Division and it's pro. So it comes with a brush motor. We really wanna do it better justice and wanna make this thing faster. So we got a few different options here of motors. Probably gonna go with, I got a 4,000 kV brushless motor from Hobbywing. And then we got a 60 amp electronic speed controller. So we're gonna put that into this truck. Not in this video, but in the next video. But I want to know, do we do a video of it just running bone stock or we run it bone stock, then out in the field, we're gonna take it to the park. We'll just upgrade it there so we can show you guys this thing running bone stock and then how it performs once we modify. I think that's gonna be our best option. You guys can let me know in regards to that one. I think that's gonna be a really cool video. We got the upgraded parts here. We got the aluminum drive shaft. It's the FAW 210. The 210 is for the longer chassis, like as we have right here. And also we got a few different pinion gears, which we got like a 33, 32. This one's a little bit lighter than this Robson Racing one. So we'll see about that one. We got our electronic speed controller ready to go. All this stuff's ready to go. GPS. So leave a comment below like, yeah, man, we wanna see that thing run bone stock and then we wanna see you upgrade it and I'll show you guys a little bit of the upgrading process. It's super easy to do. We'll bring some double stick tape. We'll get this thing uh, calibrated so that way everything works at 100% forward, backwards, all that good fun stuff. So let me know. But yeah, I'm super excited to run this vehicle. It looks super awesome. So hopefully you guys are excited to see this thing and maybe you guys go ahead and check us out at omgrc.com grab yourself one again not coming out until august i would really say september that you'll see these trucks coming out but again super thank you to kyosho efren at kyosho america check kyosho america out also they just upgraded their website as of last week so really cool looks better guys so again thank you for all you guys watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll see you real soon you guys take care peace